Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Super excited today. We've got our episode three of our local game store tour. Today's a special day because this is a, pretty much a brand new store to me. I've only been here once, spoke with the owner, really cool dude. So we're gonna be checking out Game Masters today. Let's uh, just get in there and see what it looks like. Hey everybody, welcome back to episode three of our local game store tour. Today we're here with Joel from Game Masters. Uh, you guys have already seen the store, it's a pretty amazing store. It's actually only my second time here, but he was a really amazing dude the first time I was here and I knew I had to make a video about his store. So without further ado, obviously you guys know the name of the store is Game Masters. What's your address and hours? The address is 2550 South Nova Road and the hours are Monday through Thursday. Um, it is 11 to 9 p.m. Uh, Friday it's 12 to 2 a.m. Uh, Saturday it's noon to midnight and Sunday it's 11 to 8. What year did you open? Um, I opened in 2019. I've been open for about two and a half years and it's been pretty great so far. Sweet yeah it, it seems like you got a really really nice store with a lot of product for only being open two years so that's really good that you have a community behind you. What is a brief history of the store and how did you get to where you are today? There was no store before 2019. I just have always been a person who has loved being in and around games. Uh, ever since I was 20 years old, I when I played my first Magic game, and ever since then I was hooked. I've played everything from Warhammer to uh, Dungeons and Dragons and Magic the Gathering. I've tried to play a couple of other card games, but it didn't work out for me. <laughs> yeah, today we're going to teach him Flesh and Blood, so. <laughs> Um, but at some point along the way, I just decided, you know, one day I'm going to open up a store. And turns out I had some life-changing events happen in my life. And at that point, I was like, if things are changing, now's the time. Mm. So I took all my, all my savings and I said, let's do this. And two years later, here I am. Yeah, that's awesome. What a, what a cool story, man. And it's, it's amazing to see, like, you know... I don't think there's really any people in it when it comes to this industry that aren't passionate. But I mean, how cool of a story, you know, to go from being so passionate to just, you know, going out on a whim, opening your own store, and boom, he's still here and uh, still thriving, especially, uh, which is going to lead us into our next question, which is how did the last year affect your business? I think overall, I don't believe it really, really hurt me. Mm -hmm. I think that most gamers are. First off, <clears throat> first off, most gamers are extremely loyal mm -hmm. to the stores they, they go to. They, they love their stores. They love their community. And, you know, they'll come and they'll buy things, even though things they don't need, just to be supportive to the community, really. Right, right. And it's, it's really been wonderful. Um, I can't say enough good things about the players and community I have here at this store. They have helped me through the last year and it's been wonderful. That is awesome. Well, what games and products do you currently stock in the store? As singles, I carry mostly Magic the Gathering, pretty much all of Magic the Gathering. Mm -hmm. um, I carry some small amounts of other things, like I have a little bit of Digimon, a little bit of Flesh and Blood, nothing major. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I carry um, Sometimes I carry Keyforge. Uh, 
This oh. could be cut, but it may just stay in. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I, uh, I carry I carry a bit of Key Forge, uh -huh. um, and that's there's just the card game. Right. Uh, there's there are tons of other stores around here that carry things like Yu-Gi-Oh and things of that nature, and I don't really think that as a community and as a business, it's never good to try to steal other people's. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Um, as, a, as a business and a community, I don't think it's it's necessarily a good thing to be pushing yourself into other people's lanes. Right. Um, you know, when I when I opened the store, I tried to make sure I was far enough away from everybody. But even since I've opened, there's a Pokemon store within 200 feet of me right now. Wow. Um, so I'm not going to try to, I wasn't carrying Pokemon, I was considering it, but with someone being so close, there's no reason for me to push in that direction. Right. He has that covered. Right. That's you awesome. Do you I guys have a good relationship with him yeah, over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet. Well, you know, um, he came over one time, he was doing a Pokemon tournament, came mm -hmm. over and borrowed some chairs from me. Nice. You know, I'm 100% about the community. That's awesome. I think that, you know... <clears throat> The rising tide lifts all ships. Yep, exactly. If, if we're all good to each other, it will be good for each of us. Right. Awesome, awesome, awesome. As you can see, met this guy once, and this is why I had to come back and do a store tour here, because he really just is a genuine, genuine awesome person. What is the local gaming scene like at this store, and what events do you have? We are a huge commander community. Okay. We play commander pretty much nonstop. <laughs> um, I'm currently, our main commander night is is Thursday, usually gets going around 6.30, mm -hmm. but you can catch a commander game. If you just walk in the store, you can almost be sure that there's going to be a game of commander happening <laughs> within a certain amount of time. It will not be long before you can find the game. Um, we are currently doing a budget league commander, and oh, it's been going well. Uh, it was only a month long, and it mm -hmm. actually ends this week, um, but I plan on doing it again in February. So is that like all basic lands or what? Oh. Budget, like what? So <laughs> the budget is actually um, the budget is actually fifty five dollars TCG low. Oh wow! Which is actually pretty high. It's like a hundred dollars. <laughs> okay. Because you'd be surprised the difference between TCG mid and TCG low price. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Um, but yes. <laughs> the um, I think overall it's it's been super fun. There's been a lot of interest through the whole month. Um, I won't do another one until February. I, mm -hmm. I tend to believe that when you, when things are available all the time, yep. people stop caring. Exactly. Yeah. And you know, you're like, all right, let's do one next month mm -hmm. because this one's so well, and then no one will want to do the next exactly. month. Exactly. Make, so, make them strive for it, make, wait, them, make yeah. them want it, crave it. Exactly. That's good, yeah. Get yeah. them to be That's more awesome. interested and engaged in it. That's awesome. Do you have an online store? If so, uh, what's on it and what's available? I do not have an online store. Okay. I don't actually, I don't actually, I think that online stores are actually bad for game stores. And I know that's probably, that's unpopular opinion, I'm quite sure. Right. I think that online stores for, for card games are only so you can move your high-end products. Right. I think that your low-end products and things that will move in your store should be in your store. Right. Because I, I remember as a customer of a store that I used to go to. I used to go there and I'd walk in and I'd look at the case and I'd be like, I want that and I want that and I want that and I want that. And then one day they went online and then all their cases were empty. They had nothing there for me. Mm -hmm. I had to go online to get their stuff. Right. And while I was online, instead of shopping with them, I shopped with everybody. Right. And as convenient as that is, I wasn't supporting my local game store like I wanted to do. Right. And, you know, so I don't, I think that it's, it's overall paying TCG player mm -hmm. to sell my cards for me mm -hmm. is literally just me paying them to cut my throat. Right. And it's right. just, it, it's not a... Right. I, not, I can definitely see that. I think that, I think that where, you know, the internet has been great for a lot of things, I do feel like it has definitely taken away from local game stores because uh, definitely recently I've seen there's a lot of toxicity when it comes to brand new sets. And brand new sets, if that, if that LGS doesn't sell it at MSRP, they get upset. 
because they want to come buy that product from you and a lot of times flip it online and make money. Well, there's but if you raise the price too high, then you're trying to scam them there when you're just trying to... There is no MSRP anymore. Right. Wizards got rid of that um, some two years ago, mm -hmm. which is fair. They're, mm -hmm. um, they've got their reasons for doing the things they do, and mm -hmm. I'm not trying to negate them one bit. Mm -hmm. They are a business, and they are here for one reason and one reason only, and that's to make money. Exactly, yeah. And they do that by producing a game that we all love. Thanks for calling Game Masters. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye. Oh, I'm sorry. We'll plug it in in a minute, okay? Can you guys continue to play over there and I'll be done in a minute? Thank you. So, uh, what social media platforms are you on, if any? Um, I am only on Facebook. Mm -hmm. I, uh, as I was telling you, I'm mm -hmm. not very high tech at all. So, all right. trying to get on these other things is just, some of this stuff is just beyond me. I guess I'm just old. <laughs> I don't know. Right. So, like I said, guys, all that stuff, uh, as always, will be linked in the description below. The hours, the, the location, and um, everything. So I do have a uh, I do have a website. Oh, cool. Um, it, my my website is um, Game Masters of Daytona. Okay. Um, one of my uh, the people who comes in here and plays games saw that I needed it, and he jumped in and helped me out. Sweet, awesome. So I'll, again, I'll have that link below as well. Uh, and we purposely set this this whole seating arrangement up so when we were talking about gaming communities we could reference this board. So let's go ahead and reference that board now, shall we? <laughs> um, so the, um, the gaming community in the air, we, as well as Magic, we also do Dungeons and Dragons, and we play, uh, there's a group, bunch of groups that come in and play Warhammer here. I personally play a game called Malfo, which is, that I sell here in the store. Mm -hmm. uh, this looking for adventure board behind him that you referenced is, mm -hmm. um, it's actually where, I, I put that up there so if, a customer comes in and they're like, you know, I'm looking for a Dungeons and Dragons game, and I'm not, I don't, I don't have a DM, mm -hmm. and I'm like, well, put your information up there. Other people put their information up there, and what happens is, you know, if if somebody is looking for a player, they'll find you, mm -hmm. and it'll all come together, hopefully. Yeah, that there's that was the the idea behind the board is that it could bring cool. people looking for games together. Sweet. And, uh, well, I think that was all of our questions. So thank you again, Joel, so much for this interview. And, uh, hey, let's go spend some money, shall we? All right, guys. As always, we're going to end our video buying some product from the store with a nice little pack battle. So uh, let's see who gets the best cards here. Oh, I got a crack bubble. Wait, did we both? No, maybe this isn't. We did both. Now, what are the odds of us both getting a cracked bubble? Interesting. Yeah, take that bottom part off. Because normally that's a crack bottle from the upside down. It's an it's an item. It's an item. It's the only item in the game but that. But how did you uh, know it was there? It's the only one that isn't double sided. Because it's used for draft. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Because if it had been if it had been a regular one, it would have had a hero or something back here. Yep. I don't remember the order of these. So oh, I think there's my rare. Okay. And it looks common. like another rare. Common. And. Common. common. Foil common. Common. Ooh, sickum shot. That's rare. purity. Pretty. Mythic. Oh, majestic. Majestic. This ain't magic, pal. Got a foil. <laughs> got a foil common. All right, there you go. He got a majestic. I lose. But hey, we all win when we support our local game stores. So get out there and support your local game store. Till next time, guys. Peace.